weekend indeed and one Oklahoma woman. She is preparing to participate in the marathon tomorrow morning. It is her first marathon since nearly dying. She was shot in the head twice and beaten last year. Fox 16's Price McKeon sitting down with her today and Price, she's doing this not just for herself but also others. A coworker shot the woman in the head twice, then beat her about a year ago. Now she's in Little Rock not to watch, but to walk this weekend's marathon. The full 26.2 miles. Bonnie Vanderay's strength shines just as much, if not more, than her star-studded walker she uses to stroll our station's hallways. You can't be mad at life. It's a sucky way to live. Her friends back home in Venita, Oklahoma, call her the real-life Wonder Woman. Well, the doctors told family and coworkers that I wasn't going to survive, you know? So it's like, obviously, I still have a purpose left. She's in Little Rock for her first full marathon since January 2018, when her goal of running a race in every state paused. After the second shot, you know, of course, I was holding the back of my head with, you know, my hands, and he took a baton stick and beat my hands till the stick broke. About a year ago, the paramedic's partner nearly killed her before taking his own life. Well, I had a stroke, a skull fracture, a head bleed, and then now I have seizures too. Completing the Little Rock Marathon will mean more than checking Arkansas off the list. Over the last year, I've struggled with that purpose, you know, finding it and what is it and why am I still here? It adds to the purpose that this superhero says she's found. Don't give up. You know, sometimes it's five minutes at a time or even one minute at a time. She shares her story to help power others all around. Two of her friends are here supporting her. One of them will be walking the marathon right there next to her. Back to you.